Well, they say this thing can juice up multiple devices at once. Got three devices right here. Let's see if it can hold up to the task. The good folks over at Asamo Tech sent me over this 240 watt six in one GAN USB fast charging station. It's a mouthful there. Anyway, we're going to see if it'll handle it. Stick around and we'll find out. It says it can charge uh, laptops, iOS and Android, tablets, game consoles, power banks, and Bluetooth earphones. We've got two tablets and a cell phone. See if it will work. Accessories here. Let's see what we get with it here. A little stand, power cord, and our charging station itself. Oh, look here. We got a uh, user manual too. If I can get it out of the box. Got a user manual. Pretty small little device. I, I thought it was going to be much larger. It's like we have our power input right here. Cool little device. Ah. Yeah, it looks like we have two 140 watt USB-C ports, two 65 watt USB-C ports, and two USB-A ports. And like I showed you all ago, you have the AC input right here. So we we'll We'll get it powered up. Very nice looking little device. We'll plug it in and uh, we'll see what it looks like. It does have this stand on it. Oh, it's a non-skid stand. Get up on that. Oh, that looks sweet. Pretty cool looking. Let's get some juice flowing to it. In case you're wondering, the cord is about 47 inches long. Now it does have an intelligent temperature protection. Apparently in this screen right here, if it starts uh, getting hot or something, it will have a gauge that comes up. That's what it is showing right here. The uh, little showing that is a standby screen and a charging timer. Let's get, uh, let's get some stuff plugged in here. Find out what it'll do. Okay. Okay, I've got a tester right here, and uh, USB-C to USB-C, we're going to plug it into this tablet here, which was pretty much dead, <laughs> but uh, we'll go right here, and uh, we're going to plug it in right there. Now it's showing it's charging at 2 watts. Oh, it jumped up to 14 watts. Now it's at 11, 12 watts, and that's what it's showing on the meter here. 12.14 watts. Okay, that seems to be pretty accurate. Let's plug it into the other port here. And it jumped up to that 12 watts also. It's charging at 17 watts right there. Now your cord is going to make a difference whether it's a little cheap thin cord or a heavier cord that can make a difference. I want to plug in the USB A cord into the tablet and see what it charges at there. Bring this around here. Yeah, it's pretty much doing about the same thing. Jump down to two, three, went to sleep, 11. The tablet is not on. Okay, so it'll charge to the USB-A at about, well, there's 15 watts, 14. So obviously it can fluctuate some, but we're getting as much wattage out of the USB-A as we are the USB-C, which is still impressive. Let's plug in my phone and see what it shows on the USB-A. Fast charging on the USB-A, okay? I'm curious about something. That's super fast charging now, running out the top USB-C ports. Now let's see if it can handle charging the tablet. And I've got another tablet over here. We'll uh, see what happens on that. I, I want to run our meter here, this tablet. Okay, it's 15.41. Uh, I wanna go ahead and plug in this other tablet. This is this is interesting. I did not realize it would do that, but I think I'm figuring out where it's coming up with the 240 watts. Plug uh, this one in. This is running out of the USB-A, because I don't have another USB-C to USB-C cord. I'm gonna run this one here. And there we are, we are charging two tablets and a phone, and it's bumping out 30 watts. So, well, 42 watts. So, my conclusion is, if you plugged everything in, it could go up to 240 watts. You're not gonna get 240 watts out of each port or whatever, however you was thinking. So that 240 watts is a grand total of them all plugged in. And wait a minute, wait a minute, I do have a Another USB-C to USB-C. Okay, I'm gonna switch these up. I'm gonna run it out the C port to charge this tablet. We're gonna power this tablet on. It's got 2% power, that should be enough to get it going. 
let it boot up and we're gonna see if it changes here. I'm gonna see if I can find something else to plug into this thing. Stand by. Okay, that tablet's powered up and running. I've got a big power bank right here. And I have some camera batteries. Three of them actually. Let's see what it does. We're gonna see if we can get this thing to get hot. Oh, there is a button on the top right here. It's got a little sunshine on it. You can click that and that'll go to your different LCD screen there. That'll change up your screen there. That uh, was kind of an accidental find there. That's cool. Gives you different information. That turns that screen off. There you go. That's that screen. Then it's showing you what each port is outputting. And it is accurate according to my meter here. I'm showing actually 11.43, 11 yeah, 11.43 volts. And it's fluctuating 11 to 12. So that's correct. All right, let's go ahead and plug in the batteries here. And they are charging now. Let's see, they're full already. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get another USB-A to USB-C cord. Plug it in there, and we're gonna see if we can charge our power bank. Look at there, it is charging it too. So we have two tablets, my phone, camera batteries, and a power bank, 130 watt power bank at that. And currently, it's not getting hot. It's not even warm, hardly. Bumping out about 50 to 52 watts. I am impressed. I really don't have anything else to plug in at the moment. Um, <laughs> It is flat doing the job, y'all. Uh, that That's really nice. Well, I tell y'all what, if you are looking for a charging station that can flat get the job done, we got two tablets, a Samsung phone, a power bank, and three camera batteries. These are the uh, bigger batteries. They're not uh, little toys here. If you're looking for one that'll get the job done, you might want to check this bad boy out. I think you'd be happy with it. It's definitely a keeper in my book. Thumbs up. Hey, if you'd like to get one of these for yourself, I'll put a link down in the description where you can order one today. Also, if you got any value at all out of the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I would very much appreciate it. I am an Amazon associate, so any qualifying purchases that you may make through any of my Amazon links, I will receive a small commission from. Thanks for watching.